We all have slightly different lives. Dashrath was a king with four wives. You may envy him if you like. Be your name Tim or Mike. But that is neither here nor there. To listen if you care. One of his children was our god Ram. Do listen in a manner quite calm. Dashrath thought, what could be the harm in coronating as king his son Ram? Mantra was Keke's mate. Conniving, make no mistake. I know your question. Need I mention? Who was Keke, you ask? My knowledge I shan't mask. Keke was one of Ram's stepmothers. He had a few others. Mantra instigated Keke a few words to utter. In her mouth certainly would melt butter. Keke to Dashrat, remember your promise. I have chosen this moment to say this. I once saved your life. Hence you survived. You had made to me a vow. Do honour it now. You had said of you anything I could ask. My desire I will not mask. Make my son the king instead of Ram. I ask in a manner rather calm. And send Ram to the jungle for fourteen years. Hearing this, Dashrat said, Oh dear, oh dear. But he was a man of his word, so it was not entirely absurd. That he granted Keke's wish, though this fact he did not relish. Dashrat's wish was Ram's command, for he respected his pater and even his stepmater. Sita willingly followed Ram in a manner rather calm. I know your question. I must mention, Sita was Ram's wife, with him in joy and strife. Incidentally, Sita belonged to the place we do. That is totally, completely true. Mithila it is called. That, however, is not all. In fact, that is neither here nor there, to listen if you care. Let me tell you fact another. Lakshman was Ram's brother. He followed Ram and Sita into the forest. Of fraternal love, this is a story best. Maybe not best, but you know what I mean. In the jungle, Lakshman happened to be seen by a woman demon, Shrup Naka, by name. To know this I claim. She liked him and let her desire be known to him. That was for Lakshman a situation grim. He was married and he didn't reciprocate the love. It was a circumstance rather tough. She pestered him. It was a situation grim. Irritated, he cut her nose. I suppose everyone has their woes. A chopped nose, Shubhraka did not like. Her humiliation at Lakshman's behaviour, she could not disguise. She went crying to her brother King Ravan, I think, as I look here and there and blink. King Ravan was understandably cross, for words he was at a loss. He decided to take revenge soon. To his sister's insult, he was not immune. Ravan turned himself into a gold deer and flaunted himself before Sita, I think, as I look at a rose pink. Sita desperately desired that deer. She sent Ram to cheer him, I fear. Lakshman also left for some reason, I muse. To be silent, I refuse. But before leaving, he drew a circular line on the ground in a manner quite sound. Around Sita, I mean. That is what it seems. Asked her not to cross that line. Listen to these words of mine. Ravan turned himself into a hermit. I don't mind explaining, not one bit. He asked Sita for arms in a manner rather calm. Sita gave him some from within the line. Listen to these words of mine. Ravan the hermit said it was a personal affront. He said it seemed to him that he was being shunned. He asked her to come close. And as everyone knows, Sita did that, a hermit to please. Ravan kidnapped her with utmost ease. Hanuman, another god, helped Ram in the search for Sita, I think, as I look hither and thither and blink. Ravan's brother, the division, sided with Ram in a manner rather calm. Obviously, there was a war and Ram won, all said and done. Ram, Sita and Lakshman returned to Ayodhya after 14 years. There'll be another question, I fear. Ayodhya was their home, I explain in, in a gentle tone. The people of Ayodhya were happy. I'll make this snappy. Lit the streets with Diyas, candles, I suppose, as everyone no doubt knows. Lord Ganesh and Goddess Lakshmi are also prayed to. That is totally, completely true. On Diwali evening, I know, everything sparkles and glows. In some places, fireworks India has banned. For pollution, they are doing what they can. After worship, sweets are eaten. With our taste buds, they have a happy meeting. That is what I know, more or less. I don't know more, I confess. If some of it isn't right, pardon me, 
You can clearly see I'm thick as a brick. I'll make this snappy. Have a Diwali happy. Happy Diwali rather, don't you think, father? Before I forget, there's something else. Into this I'd rather not delve. A washerman opined that Sita should be punished, for she had been with another man. He was quite awful, don't you think, Dan? Anyway, Ram heard this and became cross. For words he was at a loss. Sita's body was lit with fire. Her courage can be admired. For it was believed she wouldn't burn if she was pure. The fire Sita endured. She did not burn, but she hated the distrust of Ram in a manner not very calm. She went into the earth. Of Ram's sorrow, there was no dearth. On a sad note, let us not end. If patient ear do lend. Being a goddess, Sita is there forever. I will speak in a manner rather clever. I will say this much. May the light of Diwali be such. That it enlightens murderers' minds, and by a miracle we find. That they have turned into saints. That might seem like a wish quaint. I will say this much. May the light of Diwali be such. That it dispels ignorance and gloom, and all over the world, flowers bloom. Of kindness, may there be no dearth. May there be eternal peace on earth. Happy, Happy Diwali! Diwali.